This is Hereford Base, a very vertical map composed of four floors and designed with many large rooms. Let's take a look at the map's blueprint. We can see the basement, the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor. Note the two important staircases. They allow for rotation possibilities throughout all floors. Let's begin our tour at the very top on the third floor. Starting from the main stairs, we see the attic located right in front of us. It's a big open area that we'll visit later. Going around the stairs, we go through a door to arrive on the balcony, which offers two entry points to the third floor. Now we'll go through a window and arrive back inside the tractor storage area. Note the door on the right, which leads back to the main stairs, which we first saw when we began the tour. Past the storage and on our left is the other staircase, the blue stairs. On our right, we can see the attic, which we also saw earlier. Moving north, we enter the ammo storage. Note that this room and the tractor storage area are key, as they could contain objective points. Moving east, we finally enter the attic. Take a look at the arrow drawn on the floor. It shows the direction to the staircases. In front of us is the blue stairs. If we turn left, we can see the main stairs. Circling back, we'll go through a window to discover the east courtyard. Take note of the exterior staircase below. It provides access from the first floor to the third floor. Moving forward, we'll go through the attic and finish our tour in front of the main stairs. Now let's move downstairs and check out the second floor. Heading down the main stairs, we get to the main hallway and then into the laundry room. Going through a door, we land on the balcony. Going back inside through a window, we enter the loom room. To the right is the main hallway, which we saw earlier, and to the left, the loom closet, which has two breachable walls. One leads outside to the garage roof, and the other leads back to the blue hallway. You'll also want to notice the door located on the right in the hallway. It leads to the main stairs. Remember the white line with arrows on the floor? At either end of that line, you'll find the two staircases. Next to the blue stairs is the sewing room. We can breach through a wall to enter the kids' bedroom. We'll continue our tour through the bathroom, then take a quick look at the exterior staircase. That staircase leads to the east courtyard, which we saw earlier. We enter the master bedroom. It has a breachable wall that leads back to the kids' bedroom, which we saw a few seconds ago. These two rooms are the most important locations on this floor because they may contain objective points. We'll finish our tour moving back to the main hallway and ending here in front of the main stairs. Now let's go down to the first floor. Again starting from the main stairs, we'll move into the kitchen entrance. Ahead of us is the main hallway. Let's go into the dining room. Note the window in the back of the room. That's often used by attackers who are coming in from the Spitfire Courtyard. Now let's continue into the prep area. You'll want to keep an eye on those green doors when you're defending. Attackers could breach them to enter this room since it's an important connector linking the dining room and the kitchen. Now let's breach through this wall to enter the garage, which is another good entry point for attackers. We'll continue into the blue hallway, where we can see the blue stairs. Breaching through this wall, we enter the living room. Note the hatch on the left, which leads to an important objective site in the basement. Also note that the floor here is destructible, which can offer a good line of sight. That can be useful when the objective is located right below you. Continuing on into the main hallway, let's take a quick look at the foyer. The main entrance door is right in front of us. Circling back, we find the piano room which has a window that leads to right under the exterior staircase. Now let's go back into the dining room and finish our tour in front of the main stairs. Time to go down into the basement. Once again, we'll start from the main stairs. In front of us is a small hallway that leads to different rooms. Going to the left, we enter the fermentation chamber. Note that this room is important because it could contain numerous objective sites. Now let's continue into the generator room and go through a door to take a look at the west tunnel. Moving down the hallway, we see the blue stairs and then we enter the brewery. Remember the hatch we saw in the living room on the first floor? That's right above us. Continuing on, we'll take a quick look at the main hallway, which leads back to the main stairs where we started our tour. Turning back, we can breach through the wall on our right to enter the barrel storage. We can breach through this wall and arrive outside. 
Moving to the right, we'll enter the East Tunnel, which is an exterior area used by attackers. Coming back inside, we enter the workshop, then finish our tour back at the main stairs. Hereford Base has three spawn points. The shooting range entrance is located to the north. To the east, you'll find the Spitfire Courtyard spawn point. Finally, the Control Tower access point is located to the west. Hereford Base has two staircases that connect all four floors. The exterior staircase on the east side provides access from the first floor to the third floor. The basement is flanked by two tunnels, which are located to the east and west. And other than the first floor, every floor on this map has many large rooms. Lock and load, operatives. It's time to strike. <laughs>